Hello guys, XD here, and I'm just going to do a quick tutorial on Advanced Combat Tracker, um, at least the final the Fantasy plugin for it. Um, I was having some problems installing when I first installed it, and I messed around with it a lot, and I finally got to work. And I'm just trying to gonna tell you um, all the little bits that happen between, like your antivirus kind of blocking it or your firewall, or some things need to be unblocked on your files. Um, I got most of my info from Fusion. This is his YouTube uh, channel or YouTube video link for it. Again, most of my info was from that, otherwise from comments or forums. Um, so what you first want to do is you want to go to Advanced Combat Tracker, uh, go to the downloads. I'll link that in the description. You'll want to download this first one. Now once you have it downloaded, you go to downloads or whatever, wherever it got downloaded to. Uh, my case is downloads. Um, once you have it up, you want it to. You want to make sure you know where you download it into. I just kept it as default. Um, hit install, close. Um, before you open this up, it's important that you right click, you hit properties, you go into compatibility, and you hit run this program as administrator, or you're gonna have problems later on. Um, so. Once you open it up, it's going to start loading in. Uh, it's going to have a little startup wizard. You're going to hit next. You're going to want to get get available parsing plugins. It's going to automatically pull up uh, Final Fantasy. If it doesn't, it's in here. Um, it's important that you use, use this plugin. Make sure you click this. OK, added and started. All right, uh, close. Um, so you go into plugins, that's how you know it's there. You have your settings. Now most people do combine pets with owner and in simulate individual dot crits. Um, that's usually like the default things people do. Um, now you sh if you hit test game connection um, and it says it succeeded, then you have it working. Um, if it doesn't happen, it's most likely your antivirus or your firewall. Um, but uh, I guess I can show you that really quick. So um, I use Avest. Um, you just open up your antivirus, go into your settings. You want to do an exclusion. Um, I already have mine added, but what you should do, you hit browse. You want to find out where you have it in. So in my case, it's uh, it's my C drive. It's gonna be program files and combat tracker. It's right there. That's so. If you want to know the path, it's your C drive by default. Go to your program files, and then you just check mark combat tracker, and then you hit OK. And that's how you get your exclusion for your antivirus. Now. Um, you want to go to your control panel for your Windows firewall. And here you click uh, Windows firewall. Um, it's easier for me, at least, to view by small icons. If you have it, large icons or, or category kind of gets more confusing sometimes. Uh, but I kind of like small icons. So you go Windows firewall, uh, allow an app or feature through firewall. You want to hit change settings, allow another app. You want to do browse, and honestly, I had the shortcut download to my computer, and honestly, that worked for me. But if not, I'm assuming you go to uh, here, your C drive, obviously. Yeah. Here, there you go. C drive, programs, eighty six. At least for me, combat tracker. And then you're probably going to want to do <laughs> probably that one. <laughs> Again, I used the desktop one, but you'd hit open, you'd allow it. Uh, mine's already added because I had it previously downloaded, so it kind of just remembered that it was there. Um, but that's that to get that through. Um, so to get the overlay um, that I use, you want to go to this link here. I'll have it in the description. I already have it up over here. Uh, once you open it, 
you're going to want to download the well this is one I download uh, so I have it in my downloads I have it in my overlay plugin right here um, what you're going to want to do is uh, right click hit properties and hit on block it's really important that you do this um, otherwise you're going to have problems where you're going to have ex error mes messages and stuff um, so I've unlocked it. I'm going to want to open it either with WinRAR or 7-Zip. Um, you're going to want to go to where the program is located. So again, C drive, program 86 times 86. Um, advanced Combat Tracker. Now, it's... It doesn't really matter where you put the overlay, but I want to put it with Combat Tracker. That way, um, I know where it is at. Um, I'm just going to type in. It doesn't matter what's named, but I'm going to name it Overlay. Um, and I'm going to want to unzip all these files into here. Now, just remember that you do have to unblock it, or you're going to have problems. Okay, so now that's in there. Now I'm going to open up Combat Tracker. Um, I want to go into Plugins. I want to hit Browse. I want to go here into your wherever you download your folder into or your file into. Again, I made a folder into my actual thing uh, and I unzipped it into here. I open it and you're going to want to find uh, Overlay Plugin. DLL. You want to hit open. You want to add add enable plugin. Um, now it should be working. <laughs> Initialized. All right. Um, so what you have to do here is um, I don't really use this bell timer, so I just remove that. Um, to actually add in the actual overlay into it, you're going to want to use this link here. I'll have that in the link or in the description. You want to post that here. It reload your overlay, and you'll have this fancy thing pop up. Uh, this is basically where you're going to see all your stuff. Um, some other settings that uh, a lot of people do is they hide the overlays. Now, um, I kind of like the default overlay, just because it'll have this. Um, otherwise, if you hit hide, you won't see that there. I kind of like actually seeing the numbers. I don't know why. That's just a preference. Um, so, I believe that should have everything working. Um, you have these arrows here, just kind of like minimize it. You have uh, DPS, tank tells you how much um, damage they're eating. Uh, healing, you get to see everyone how much they're healing. So you get to see how much the healer's healing. If your DPS are using your second wind, or you know they pop some potions or whatever, um, you can hit settings. You can kind of mess with this stuff. Um, you can mess with the colors. Um, mess with column widths. I don't really mess with this stuff. Now, I do say that this is kind of big. Like, I have a lot of stuff on my screen as it is already. There's this little notch here. I don't know if you'll see it. Um, but you can actually drag and kind of resize things. Um, I kind of like it a little smaller. Um, the 24 is obviously for raids to actually see more people in there. Um, you have, if you click on this, it actually shows instances. You have the reset reload overlay if you want to like restart the thing uh, but to show you that it works and let's get rid of that message So obviously you can see DPS. Um, now let's say I popped a potion. You'll see how much I've healed, possibly. I don't know. <laughs> oh, 
Okay, so that's basically it. Um, if you ever want to see how things go, um, if you have any questions afterwards, um, just stick, stay tuned. Um, I will say what's uh, nice about this is actually going through the settings and uh, oh, and I still have it up technically. There was actually a way to um, put in some. I don't know if it's in here or if it's in your actual combat tracker, but I was kind of messing around with it, and it's actually quite nice because. Let's say you had another device on, I think people play on PS4s and stuff. I think there's a way to add an IP address and kind of track DPS through that. Obviously, it wouldn't be on your main screen because as a PS4, you're probably using a TV or something. Um, but it would show up on your computer, and that would be kind of cool to watch that, see where you need to mess around with, where your combos might be better DPS-wise. Um, now, what I wanted to tell you was... Uh, for whatever reason that um, you're still getting an error and you've messed with your antivirus, you've unblocked the files, you've uh, made an exception in your firewall and you're still getting uh, a problem. Um, in here, uh, this is Fusion's video. Someone commented um, that they were having this error Okay, now I had this error before I did the exception, so if you're still getting this error for whatever reason, this person added a uh, lat line directly after runtime command and in the ACT exe file. Um, so if you wanted to add that, uh, you would have to go to your C drive, your program files. Again, only add this if you're still having problems. Um, and so this is the config file. You can see by the type. Um, now by default, you're not actually not able to edit this. So like if I went in here and hit edit and I tried saving it, so I believe they said after runtime command, uh, so you'd be pasting it basically here. Um, it won't let me save it. I can try saving it, and it says you want to replace it, yes, access is denied. So to get around that, you would have to right click, properties, security. Um, you're going to want to edit your permissions, because right now you have read and execute and read. Um, you're going to want to be able to modify. So you honestly might as well just do full control. <laughs> Now you'd be able to edit, paste this in there, and hit save. If you're still having that problem, it should have worked. <laughs> Did it not save it? That saved it. Alright, so thank you guys for joining this video. That's basically all I have to show you. If you have any questions, post it in the comments. Thank you very much.